When I go down the coal mine, there's not enough air and I have trouble breathing. I feel like I'm living in another world, the, the rat world. It's pitch black, darker than at night. Uh, that's what it's like down the coal mine. I'm happy to work here because we make good money. We get paid based on output. But of course it's very tough. You have to bust your guts to meet one's coal quota as fast as possible so that you can get home and rest and get some sleep. I work eight hours a day, every day, from Monday to Saturday. They hire us children because we can squeeze along the narrow galleries in the mine, and that's why the bosses are happy to have us. Dad, it's almost four o'clock. And so? Well, can we stop now? I'm very tired. I make about $25 a week. My father makes only 20. He makes less than I do because it's harder for him to dig and he produces less than I do. It's terribly hot in the mine and I'm not very healthy. I have high blood pressure and I have trouble breathing, so I cannot work as fast as the others. Before coming here, I was a farmer, but it didn't pay enough. I couldn't feed my family. I have eight children, and even today I still cannot pay for their school fees. We have always been poor, so we have to put up with the dangerous work in order to survive. I don't force my son to go down the mine. Uh, he can go back to the village, uh, to his mother if he wants to. But he's the one who insists on working with me, so it's his problem. I would have preferred to go to school, but as we've got no money, I have to slave away here. In fact, there's no age limit for studying. Uh, there's someone in my home village that I know, it's an 80-year-old woman who's just started going to elementary school. So I tell myself, I have plenty of time to study. First, I need to work hard in the coal mine and maybe one day I'll succeed. Para preparar los alimentos, el carbón. Con el carbón se podría hacer juguetes. No, no. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Lo empleamos para hacer juguetes. El problema de la minería de Topaga. Here in the Propago region, the method of coal mining is primitive. Fathers have no qualms about sending their children to do very hard labor, which can be devastating for their health. This is highly irresponsible because the mines are unhealthy and dangerous. Estas minas, por su forma de explotación, presentan diferentes clases de peligro. Se conoce el caso de los niños de Topaca. Most of the children in the area work in the mine because their families are destitute. 
They go to school in the morning and work in the mine in the afternoon. Some do it spontaneously because it's a family tradition. Others do it to help their needy parents. They don't really have a choice, like young Jaime Andres. Se quedó mamá vieja, muy triste en la puerta del rancho. Y se quedó mamá vieja, muy triste en la puerta del rancho. Pues estoy sola y no hay quien me ayude y soy viuda. I'm a widow with no income. And so my son has to help me by working three hours a day in the mine, except on Sunday. His job is to unload the coal. He does not have to go down the mine. Oh, you do? You do have to go underground? Well, you see, I don't even know what they make him do up there. It's true, it is dangerous. Uh, that's why I would prefer it if he didn't go this year and next year. I'll send him to Bogotá to do a safer job, and it will also be better for his schooling. I would prefer not to have to go down the mine. If I could afford it, of course, I would stop, but here in Topaga, there's nothing else we can do. And if you don't dig coal, how are you going to pay for food, for clothing and school? We have to pay for the books, school uniforms and school supplies. Every day I go down, I risk my life. I'm scared because I know many who did not make it back. It's very dangerous here. The mines are not well maintained or propped up. Nothing is safe and it may collapse on your head at any time. We damage our health for just peanuts. Sometimes it makes me cry. I'm so upset that sometimes I cry. When you're down in the mine, it's your lungs that really suffer. You breathe the coal dust all the time. And we have two friends who died in the mine, and their father had forced them to go down, and part of the mine caved in, and they died suffocated. And since then, we, uh, we don't want to work down there. The accident really scared us, but we're still forced to go and do the same job. Well, really, one day something should be done to stop this gambling with our lives. Realmente, reglamento de higiene y seguridad. Well, there is in Colombia a health and safety regulation uh, which forbids employing children under 18 and women to work in the mines. But unfortunately, there are no mine police which can strictly enforce that law. The coal producers are quite happy with the situation. They take advantage of the chaotic state of the market and the fact that there are many small-scale, unregistered coal producers to buy coal from at a low price. Of course, these illegal practices shouldn't be tolerated, but shutting all the mines would risk creating a social upheaval in the sector.
The government wants to enforce laws like the one which bars children from working in the coal mines. But we don't really have a choice. If we don't work hard, we run the risk of becoming delinquent, stealing or killing to survive. The government hurts us with these laws because young people could become tramps and forget what honest work is all about. So for me, I prefer to kill myself working hard, and at least that way I'm in no danger of becoming a guerrillero. There's so much violence in Colombia that I think stopping children to do honest work would be a crime. And what about where you come from? Do children have to work down the mines too? Because here we all have to do it. Well, we live like moles and we never see the light of day. We'd love to do something else, but, but what? Here there's only coal mining. When we go home, we're exhausted i too tired to be able to study. I'm far behind in my studies. But I haven't given up hope of succeeding one day. When I go to town, to Sagamosos, I see pretty girls. I would love to have a girlfriend like that, but it's impossible because I'm just a, a little coal miner. I don't stand a chance with these girls, so when I'm digging down the mine, I dream about them. For a 16-year-old girl like me, the mine is not a life. We have to sacrifice our youth in order to survive. I really wish that fathers would not have to force their children to work in the galleries, because it's not human. But here, there are too many starving youngsters who cry because of this hardship. But the government doesn't give a damn. They don't realize how much suffering is going on here. I really wish somebody would start caring about us. And it's only thanks to God if we survive, because around here, everybody has to work. My husband left me with nothing when the children were very small. He didn't even leave me a picture or just a few pesos. That's why I have to make my own children work. The poor kids, they've not even been to primary school. It's a sin to let children go down the mines like this. We live like animals, we can't even stand up straight. We have to stay bent over, which makes it even harder, because we suffer from cramps in the legs, and the coal seems very hard, it's very difficult to get the coal out. A coal mine is not a place for a woman like me, it's too difficult. Oh, look at my hands, how dirty and, and ragged they are. And I earn less than a man because, of course, I don't produce as much. 
It really is like being a slave here. Rosita, how much did you manage to dig out today? A quarter of a ton. Was the gallery safe? More or less. And you? How much did you do? Not much. And you? Oh, a quarter of a ton as well. Is it hard to break up the coal? Yep. Ah, but you've, you've got to do it to earn your money. Well, let's hope God looks after us so we can come back tomorrow. Make the sign of a cross and go down. My gallery is low because of the, the coal seam here. So you have to kneel to dig. It is very hard for these poor women, and the other mines don't want them. <coughs> but they have to feed their children somehow. I've got to be nice to these people. And I feel like I, I really need to look after them a bit. Well, working down the mine uh, deforms my body. I mean, look at my legs and my arms. They look like a man's, not a girl's. I don't like seeing my profile becoming like that. And my lungs are clogged with coal dust. And I can't breathe anymore. So then I have to go up for some air. When we get ill, we have no health care or a trade union to help us. We have nothing, and the boss doesn't give a damn. Well, when we hire these people, we warn them. We're giving you some work, but we are not responsible if you have any problems. So I don't feel bad about it, and at least they have jobs. A ver, esto de cooperativa 
We set up this cooperative to provide the children in the area with another option. Here we have two types of activities, coal sculpting and sewing work clothes. Children make pre-Columbian figurines, paperweights and other gadgets, and then the figurines are sold off to tourists. The cooperative keeps 20% of the selling price for its administrative costs. The kids get about 80%. So, for example, for this figurine, a child will make about a dollar for a half day's work, uh, which is less than half of the country's minimum wage. Only a minority of the region's children work here. We would love for all of them to be with us, but we cannot force them to come. Many only come to the workshop for a short time because they don't make any money during their training period, whereas in the mine they get paid the same day. I myself had to push a barrow when I was 11, and sometimes I cried. I was so exhausted and so thirsty. We worked from 6 in the morning till 5 in the afternoon. And the conditions really are inhuman and unacceptable for children. That's why I struggled to keep our cooperative going. Their mother is Rosa Chaporo. And their story makes me very sad. I begged her several times to stop digging down the mines, but this poor woman doesn't have enough money to feed her poor children, and she keeps working herself much too hard. And tomorrow, what will happen to them? Me too, I work in the mine. But I'm lucky because I go to school in the morning, so that later I will have a profession. I try to help my best friend Milena by giving her private lessons so that she can catch up. The little I learn from Martha will always be useful because in this area you have to work like slaves in the mine if you don't go to school. So thanks to my best friend, I hope to get out one day. But will I really be able to? Cuando es día de pago, pues ahí sí me puedo ir para mi casa, por allá 
When it's the weekend after we get our pay, I go home to my village to see if things are okay with my family, my mother, my little brothers and sisters. It's important to be concerned about your close relatives. I work far away from them and I miss them. The last time I played football. This kind of life was fun when I was a kid. But today I would feel a bit ashamed to be like a child again. It's been about five years that I've been slaving away in the mines and it's too late to want to live like a kid of my own age. I'm too used to having to work. So staying home idle without earning a living is not my thing. I'm better off staying and working at the mine. There at least I feel okay. So before I go down into the mine, I always cross myself and underground I feel protected by God and the Virgin Mary. Thank <laughs> you.